well let's conclude at this point let's conclude with the audio part of this um i have a question for the audience again <laughs> and i have a question for you ladies because there's so many stereotypes today mm -hmm. we did talk about that last episode with the men like the 2019 church guy stereotype mm -hmm. that's all across the board <laughs> insert all kinds of jokes at that point right but there's also stereotypes for the church lady too yeah especially when you start breaking down demographics Christian girl fall. yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah that's actually mm -hmm. a hashtag yeah <laughs> yep yep so can you answer this for me what does a godly woman look like mm. biblically speaking practically speaking <sighs> What do you think a godly woman looks like? I'm going to let them answer. I have notes for this, but I'm going to let them oh, say for wow. number. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to forget it, so I wrote it down. I would so, Go ahead. Nope. <laughs> go right ahead. I would say it's just a woman who's pursuing her relationship with God 100% and how um, I would assume, I would hope that she's doing some kind of service, but how that service is is going to be depending on her gifts. So mm. it, I think it's hard to be like, That's oh, this really is good. practically mm -hmm. what a godly woman looks like because everyone's different. But if you're pursuing God and that's your passion, I think that's right. That's, that's it. Amen. That's good. That's good stuff. And she doesn't take the hat off at home. Come on. You know, she doesn't take mm. it off at work, mm -hmm. you know, walking to, to the store and then put it back on in church. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very, very important um, that a godly woman is just that. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a godly woman it's not a title that she has mm -hmm. that's who she is right. so I think it's very important for her children to see um, the the language the tone you know um, of of how she's speaking to them and no I'm not perfect if my children are watching I know mm -hmm. <laughs> I, <laughs> I repent um, but to God be the glory even that going and, and asking for you know forgiveness for your children um, to your children but I believe that in all areas this woman should definitely be adorning herself appropriately even if she's going away you know where nobody can see her mm -hmm. how are you handling you know yourself on the outside as well as the inside so amen and then I I would say that um, it, it, it kind of bothers me a little bit to answer a question like that because I think that God created humans Mm -hmm. He didn't necessarily, I mean, he created a man and a woman, but we're humans. And so we're redeemed because of what Christ did. And so when it gives fruits of the, uh, the fruit of the spirit, it doesn't say these are, these are for men, these are for women, mm -hmm. or like this characteristic or that characteristic. So I think that the call is um, to all people. What does it look like to be a, a pursuer of God? You know, not necessarily like a man or a woman, even though I know that we do have roles, but I'll give an example. Like, so one of the things that people equate to women is, you know, somebody who's gentle, you know, nice, gentle lady. Well, guess what? That's one of the qualifications for an elder. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so there, there are certain people that will put um, roles to a woman and certain things to a man. Well, no, God calls us all mm -hmm. to this. As if there's female and male fruits of the spirit. Right. Or like I, I think <laughs> the, the book says the the fruit or of the feminine and masculine <laughs> fruits right. of the spirit. Masculine it's fruit is a feminine. Fruit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think I think in the book uh, Rachel Green says uh, like like the fruit of the spirit is is for women and the arm of God is for men. <laughs> you know, it's like mm. no. And she's making a point. No, we're all called to the same thing. We're all called to submit to one another, mm -hmm. and and we're not talking church right now. We're not talking husband and wife. We're talking women mm -hmm. and men. All they're. He calls us all to the same thing, all to holiness. So that's what I would say. I agree. I agree with pretty much everything that was said today. It was great. Um, so at this point, we will conclude the audio part of this. We like to keep it at somewhere between 45 and an hour. Mm -hmm. And when we have a larger group, it always extends past that. But it's for a reason. Amen. Um, so those of you that are watching, thank you for tuning in to The Basement, where theology meets the thoughts of life. Mm -hmm. This has been episode 30. Episode wow. 30. Wow. That's so dope. Women, please. <laughs> this was a ladies' night. And, um, yeah, we had some special ladies on the episode with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for yeah. having us.
special in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's good. But yeah, thank you, thank you again, and hopefully we can have you guys back. You were great. Um, yeah. Any any other last words? No. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Grace and peace. <laughs>